Good afternoon. People across the West are getting ready for the end of lockdown and the change to the new tier system that comes in tomorrow. The rules will be different depending on which tier your local area is in. Well, Andrew Plant is here to explain more. So, Andrew, thanks for coming in. What's going to change at midnight tonight? Hi, Alex. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be obvious that lockdown's ended. There are some quite big changes that happen no matter what tier you're in. So, things like shops will open. Those are any shop, whether they're essential or not. Um, hairdressers, beauty salons, places of worship, they'll all open. And bars and restaurants restaurants can all open too, although there are big variations depending on which tier you are in. Uh, let's just show you which of our areas are in tier three. People probably know by now. So it's uh, Bristol, South Gloucestershire and North Somerset, all at the moment about 180 to 200 cases per 100,000 of coronavirus. So much lower than they used to be. If you have a look at that, what that means for them, so there's no household mixing indoors or in gardens, but you can uh, obey the rule of six, but only if you meet in sort of an open space like a park or a beach. Uh, pubs and restaurants can only do t uh, delivery and takeaway or drive through only. Um, indoor entertainment venues like cinemas and bowling alleys stay closed. Um, and there's lots of guidance too about leaving a tier three area or entering a tier three area. So pretty strict, um, but as I say, the shops and things are open. If you look at tier two, so everywhere else is in tier two, um, Gloucester, Bath and North East Somerset, all the way down to Cotswold there. And if we show you the restrictions there, they're pretty different actually. Um, so you can't mix households indoors, but you could in your garden, for example. Um, the rule of six applies outdoors, basically, anywhere. Pubs and restaurants can open, but as we've been hearing so much about Scotch eggs, haven't we? You can only drink if you're having a substantial meal, uh, however that is defined. Um, otherwise, they have to close. If it's a pub just serving alcohol, you would have to close. And you can have some sports performances with spectators too. So things looking pretty different tomorrow morning. The cases are going down, though, aren't they? So do you think we're going to be changing tiers? Yeah, I mean, lockdown has worked. You know, it's just the degree to which it's worked, and it will still still be reflected in the figures probably for the next couple of weeks to come at least. So um, cases have dropped. That's the best thing. Some of our areas like Somerset, Western Taunton have got really low coronavirus rates, some of the lowest in the country. Um, there was a bit of a stink really when the, when the tiers were announced because some places were hoping to be in lower tiers, North Somerset particularly. Um, the MPs there, so Liam Fox and John Penrose, um, actually wrote to Matt Hancock and said they didn't think it was fair that they were sort of lumped in into tier three with Bristol and South Gloucestershire. They've actually had a reply from Matt Hancock saying that next time things are looked at, um, he'll look at it individually on a, on a sort of place by place basis. And that's going to happen on the 16th of December. So every two weeks, we're told this will be reviewed. But of course, that means uh, if your case rates aren't going in the right direction, you could be put into a higher tier. Yeah. But most places will hope, I think, to go into a lower tier come the 16th. Yeah, ours have been really encouraging. Uh, they should come out later, shouldn't they? So we'll see you tonight. New figures tonight. Brilliant. Yeah. Thanks very much, Andrew.